What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create and save objects into custom libraries inside of twin motion. This allows you to take things like objects and materials and save them for use in future models or future renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the ability to import and uh, organize custom models, I think is one of the areas where twin motion really does well and I think this is one of the uh, the more powerful things about the program just because of the way that this is set up and how easy it is to use so to start off what we're gonna do is we're gonna import an object so let's say that we downloaded something like a sofa or something like that and we want to bring that into our um, model and uh, just as model credit this is the Hungarian house by SZ Kristoff from the SketchUp 3d warehouse so you can download this and uh, follow along if you want to. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna import a model. So to do that, you're gonna go down here and we're gonna click on import. And then after we import a model, we're also going to import materials. And I'll show you how to save those as well. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on import and we need to go find our file. And so in this case, I've got a sofa that I'm gonna download and bring into my model. And so when we do this, remember that you wanna make sure to keep the hierarchy. When you bring this in, you can check the box for fix UV and texture if you want to. And then uh, we're gonna leave this other stuff the way that it is, and we're gonna click OK. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna import a copy of this into our model somewhere. And so if you look at our bottom, the bottom of our uh, list here, you can see how this got brought in to our model, but it got brought in way over here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring, we're gonna click and drag this just to bring it over here into our model. So you can see how we were able to import this sofa model into twin motion. so that we can then use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this. So I've gone ahead and I've placed this right here um, so that it's basically sitting on the ground. And so what we have is we have this great sofa model that we were able to download and bring in. And I think I got this one off of, uh, I think this one probably came from Tur Turbo Squid. I will link to this model in the notes down below, but you can see how this sofa came in. It's already got the materials applied to it. That's the nice thing about downloading a SketchUp model is it comes with the materials applied. I haven't really tested this with some of the other formats where the textures come in in folders. Um, but what we have is we have this sofa inside of our model and I really like this sofa this is a pretty realistic looking sofa I think it'll look good in renders it's got some nice textures and things like that and so what we want to do is we want to take this sofa model and we want to save this to our user library so we can use it later and so you can find your user library by coming over here in the left hand side in your library if you look down here there's a folder that says user library and so I've got a couple folders in here already I've got one for materials which we'll talk about in a minute and I've also got one in here for context models and so I want to save this object to the context models folder so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on them and I'm just going to find this in my outliner on the right hand side here and I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna click on the button for add to user library and so when I add this to my user library it'll save a copy of this um, inside my user library folder and so you can see how this came in in the folder that I was inside of. So I was inside of context models and this saved this inside of context models. And so now the great thing about this is I can actually organize this inside of my context models folder. So like for example, um, I'm probably gonna want something a little more in depth than just context models because I might have tables and chairs and things like that. Well, all I need to do is just click this plus button and I can make a folder and I can just rename that folder something like, uh, we could call this one sofas. So that's gonna be a sofas folder. Then I can just take this and I can just drag this into that folder to keep it organized. And so now let's say that we wanted to bring in another model. So in this case, we're gonna bring in a bed model. So let's say we wanted to import that. We're just gonna import, same thing. We'd keep our hierarchy, click open on our file. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna double click on this other SketchUp model that's gonna be this bed. And this is a 1921 by Sierra Movius. 
um, also a 3D warehouse model, but I can go ahead and click OK and I can bring that in as well. And so you can see how that's bringing this in way out here again, so we'll just drag it over just so we can look at it. So this is a fairly detailed bed model um, that I've used for some renderings and some other things like that. It's got some nice, uh, it's got some nice materials associated with it and that kind of thing. So we're going to save that to our user library, but before that we're going to change the textures on it. So I'm going to come in, for example, and on this bed, um, instead of having just this white material, we'll go ahead and we'll bring in like, a, let's just say we're going to bring in this wool material for our, uh, this wool carpet material, because that's kind of a nice texture that looks good when we render it. You can see how when I bring that in, I can apply a texture and material to that and I have apply to object set so I don't have replace material set I have apply to object that way I can apply individual materials in here um, so like for example if we wanted to add maybe this wool material to the base of the bed we can do that as well so we're just gonna bring this material in oops wrong one So you can go ahead and you can apply that material to your bed. And so now we have this object that we brought in, but we also changed some of the materials. Well now if we right click on this and we'll go ahead and be in our user library context models folder. If we right click on this and we click add to user library, the copy of this that gets brought in and I'm going to delete this one out real quick. The copy of this that gets saved to your context models folder, you can see how that's going to have those materials associated with it that we just applied. So what that means is you can bring in a model and then apply materials and then save that copy and the copy that you have in here will retain the materials associated with it when you save this to your user library. So whatever those materials were when you save this to your library, that's how those are going to be. Um, inside of this model in here. And so we could add another folder and for this one we could add a category or we could rename this one something like beds. And we can drag this in here. And so you can see how you can use this to um, you can use this to basically create your own complete library inside of Twinmotion of different models. And so let's say for example that we wanted to bring in um, some kind of a stone material or a wood material or something like that. So not a model but a material. Well, you can also do that inside of Twin Motion as well. So, what you can do is you can save materials inside a materials folder. And the way that you do that is just by creating a new material. So, we'll just click on this button for new material. And then we're just going to go in here and we're going to load some maps to this material. So, like on the color map, um, I've downloaded some different materials from the website Polygon and I'm just going to apply some of those. So by coming in here and clicking on more and going to the texture map. And for this one we're going to load in the color map. And so the color map is going to be the map associated with this material or the image associated with this material that's going to make up the actual um, tiled image inside of this. So now if I click and drag this in, you can see how I can replace this stone material in the fireplace with this material that I brought in. And so one thing we're going to do in addition to this on this material is we're also going to load in a couple other maps. So we're going to load in a bump map, or in this case it will be a normal map. We're going to load in our reflection map as well. So all of these maps are associated with this material and contain information about the material. So now this has a couple different maps associated with it and things like that. And so we're also going to come in here and we're going to rename this material and uh, I'm going to call this one Calcutta Stone Dash 
polygon just because I like knowing where that came from but I have this material set up and ready to go and so this is going to render really well but basically I've created a custom material in here well what you can do is you can come down here and you can right click on this material and you can click on the button for add to user library and so what that's going to do is that's going to take this polygon Calcutta stone material and that's going to save that to your library of materials so that way you don't have to come back in again and uh, redo all of the maps and things like that anymore. Um, you just have this material in your library ready to go. And so now if I go up here and I go into my user library, you can see how this Calcutta stone material has been saved inside of that library. And then all I have to do is just drag it into my materials folder. And if I wanted to, I could create another folder in here. So we could call this one something like stone. And we could drag that in here as well. But now these are going to show up anytime I open a new twin motion rendering. So I'll have my library loaded and ready to go for future use. So that's kind of an overview of how you can save objects to your library inside of Twin Motion. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know you could do this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.